Etsy dropshipping tutorial for beginners in 2021. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use Etsy to begin your dropshipping business. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into the video. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to Etsy.com. Now, once you're over here onto this website, what I want you guys to do is just simply sign up. And as you can see, you don't see a sign up option over here. That's because it's way down below. Now, if you want to become a seller, you have to come over here at the bottom and underneath sell, you will see sell on Etsy. Simply click on sell on Etsy. It will take you to this web page where they will give you a brief introduction and tell you a little bit about themselves and how you can get great value. So over here, as you can see, if you list your first 20 items, you just have to pay 20 cents and you only have to pay the transaction payment processing and offsite advertising fees when you make a sale. So what that basically means is that when you come over to onto Etsy and when you try to become a seller and you have to make an account, basically you have to pay a certain amount of money for a listing. And if you're wondering what is a listing, it's basically a inventory. So for each item on the inventory, you have to pay 20 cents. So basically if you're trying to sell a shirt, you will have to pay 20 cents to be able to have that shirt available onto your inventory and if you're trying to sell a mug or a face mask or other products then you have to pay 20 cents for each of those products as well so you have to keep in mind but for the first 20 items you only have to pay 20 cents and as you go beyond the 20 item threshold you have to pay more so now that you know a little bit about etsy let me just scroll down and tell you other things as well such as you already know the 20 cents for listing and now you also have to pay five percent transaction fee or a paypal fee so once purchased there is a small commission fee and a standard paypal payment processing fee so whichever way you have it they're going to take five percent of the fee and then they have a 15 percent offsite advertisements fee basically etsy pays to advertise your items across the website through offsite ads you only pay a small fee when you make a sale from one of those ads so that's also something that you needed to know about and so now that you know more about etsy and its fees and transaction fees and stuff like that let's just go ahead and open a shop so click on open your etsy shop and over here just simply enter in the email so and after that click on continue and then once you have entered in your email just simply enter in your password so now that you have signed in this is how the website is going to look like and as you can see we have five stages that we have to complete so we have shop preference we have name your shop we have stock your shop how you'll get paid and set up billing so first is shop preference so over here you just have to enter in the preferences of your shop such as its language and shop country and shop currency and stuff like that so go ahead and enter in the preferences that you like now i've added english and united states and the currency is us dollars because it is one of the strongest currencies in the world right now every major platform uses dollars so once you have added that information then you have to choose an option that describes your workload best whether it's selling in full-time or selling in part-time but hope to sell full-time and then i sell part-time and stuff like that so i chose the second option and then just simply click on save and continue next you just have to name your shop so as you can see i've this is the name of the shop that I have chosen and over here as you can see it's available if I change up the name a little bit it's not going to be available anymore so let's just go ahead and go with the flow so if you've chosen a name that's available just simply click on save and continue and then it is over onto the third step where it says we have to stock our shop now to stock your shop you just simply have to add in as many listings as you can 10 or more would be a great start more listing means more chances to be discovered but remember guys each listing costs 20 cents so be careful so i would recommend going with a smaller number of listings basically try to sell some of your best products that you know people will love and will buy so make sure you choose those products first and then you scale up to more products when you start to make a small amount of profit so i'm gonna go ahead and add a listing so when i click on it i have to add a photo of the object as you can see we have to add in photos and it can be of any angle or every angle or any variation and then if you want you can also add a small video about your product so go ahead and shoot a small video of your product and then upload it here just to make it more legit and then down below you will have listing details so over here you will have to enter in the title of your product and then about this listing basically you have to enter in who made it what is it when did you make it and 
then the categories and stuff like that so i'm gonna go ahead and enter a photo now if you are a very talented individual and you know how to make different artworks and stuff like that then this should be no problem to you but if you don't and you're a someone like me who is terrible at artwork and designing and illustrations and stuff like that i have a hack for you where you can go over to different websites and start to find some free illustrations or images or texts or whatever artwork form that you want to use as on your product so the first website that i usually go to is called raw pixels or it's canva.com now if you want to do a little bit of researching you, you can go to pinterest to find out what type of products are selling and which products would look really really good so i'm gonna go ahead and sign in let so if you want to do some researches you can also come over to pinterest now over here on pinterest just search for some products that you want let's just say that we'll want some shirts so search for shirts so as you can see these are some of the shirts that are popular but these aren't really good these are different shirts these aren't the shirts that we want but this shirt like this one over here as you can see there's not a lot of work done into this shirt it's just a couple of letters and that's basically it and if we scroll down below we can see there are other shirts as well so such as this one over here which says some people just need a high five so as you can see they're pretty simple yet they look really really comfortable and look really really nice like these are type of shirts that you could want to wear guys so as you can see there's not a ton of work or creativity done into this you just have to be a little creative with your words such as this one over here which says wtf where's the food like that's pretty funny so remember guys stuff like that so let's just go ahead and come over to raw pixels and click on public domains and i'm gonna go ahead and download a image so i'm gonna click on over here so over here we have nasa so i'm gonna go ahead and search for some of the images over here so as you can see these are some pretty cool images so let me just go ahead and download this image over here this planet earth one and over here as you can see we have a lot of different images so this one looks pretty nice this one looks pretty good as well so i'm gonna go ahead and download this one and as you can see it's free download so just simply click on the free download option then you have to create an account if you want to be able to download a free image so i'm gonna go ahead and click on sign up with google so over here you have the option of going premium but let's just take with the free version and get started then just simply download the image once you have signed in and it will be downloaded and then you can go back to creating your listing and adding your image once you have added the image you have the option of adding the same image in different angles so that it is more legitimate but i think this will do and then you can adjust the thumbnail if you want if you want to make it zoom in a little bit if you don't think it's done and then you can just simply enter in the different details such as who made it let's just select i did a finished product and when did you made it i made it in this year it's a t-shirt and then you can just simply add in a title now remember guys you have to upload a full on finished product so etsy isn't really a print on demand website it's basically a site where you have to create different products so remember to create products first and then upload them onto etsy but i'm just showing you this as an example you don't have to follow this video so you have to add in pictures of products so it's, that's why they added these different angles so you have to add the main product image then in different angles and then in use and scale and style scenes and stuff like that then add in an image so so basically if you're trying to add in the a shirt then you have to add in other angles as well so remember that guys this isn't a print on demand website it's basically a market such as ebay or amazon and stuff like that so next what i want you guys to do is just simply add in all these different informations and then we can just simply click Click on save and continue and once you have entered these different details then you can just simply come over here down in the pricing section and over here just simply enter in the price of your product and then the quantity then you can add in special variations of the product such as if it's a product on a special holiday so basically let's just say christmas so you can add a christmas special about that product so if you want to add variations you can just simply do that by clicking on add variations so down below you have the delivery option where you can add in different delivery settings such as where you sell it where you don't i'll enter it 
and calculate them for me which is the recommended because i don't know how it will take some time let's just say three to five business days where i'll deliver united states and worldwide over here you have some delivery services such as usps usps you have the standard international and stuff like that so i'm gonna go ahead and choose these two options and then you have the advanced delivery services as well if you want to go into that and then you have free delivery service free domestic delivery free international delivery as well if you want to i would recommend doing this because a lot of stores are using free deliveries so when people order online they almost expect the product to be free and if it is free then people will definitely buy it then you can add the handling fee if you want so i'm going to go ahead and add in five dollars and then that's basically it and then down below you have your tariff number basically you have to enter in the specific code for your product so you can find that out by simply searching on google what is the tariff code of this product and then you will have the tariff code of that product and then just simply enter that product in enter in the weight of that product let's just say it's, it's one pound and then item size in inches let's just say it's 25 inches in length and it's 30 inches in width and it's about 20 inches in height and then just simply click on save and continue that is basically it that is how you add your listing and then just simply click on save and continue and then you'll arrive onto the payment section now unfortunately my country isn't supported by etsy so i can't basically enter in this detail and this is it so but for you i'm sure your country does that so just enter in all these different details and then select where your bank is located then just simply click on save and continue and your profile will be completed and you'll be able to start selling on etsy so so make sure you do that so if you have any other questions in the video please let me know in the comment sections down below and i will be sure to answer them truthfully and honestly and having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye